I'd like to give a big shout out to the Hoodoo Gurus who have given us permission to use part of their song, That's My Team, as our new podcast episode intro for all of their music. And whenever they are going live or performing live, head to their Facebook and their Instagram. The links will be in the description below. Be sure to give them a like and a follow as well on Facebook and Instagram. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Final Tackle Podcast. This week's interview guest is Dragons halfback, Panthers halfback, and New South Wales former halfback as well, Jamie Soward. Thank you for joining us, mate. Thanks, mate. Thanks for having me. No worries. So, it's been a while since we've had a chat. Uh, how are you going and how's things, you know, going for you at the moment, mate? Yeah, good. Uh, very busy heading into the business part of the season with uh, with the NRL, obviously. But, yeah, Canterbury Cup, New South Wales is heating up. We do that every Sunday for Channel 9. So, yep. very busy heading into the final. Very nice, very nice. Question one of this would be, which team did you follow when you were growing up if you followed a team? Uh, I was born in Canberra, so I used to follow the Raiders, but oh, nice. uh, I, I sort of went. I sort of went through whoever was on top. I went through the Sharks, through the Super League era, and then yeah, pretty much um, after that, stopped sort of supporting uh, because I started playing in 2003. So ever since I've been playing, I um, I don't really support anyone. Uh, obviously, yep. and in retirement, I probably have a soft spot for, for the Dragons and Panthers. But um, yeah, I don't really support anyone anymore, mate. Fair enough, fair enough. Who was the jokester at the time when you were playing for the Dragons and the Panthers? Was there a player that you could always depend on to be a larrikin sort of thing? Yeah, well, Bo Scott used to pull all the pranks. Um, he'd tie Blake's shoes together, you know, put, a pad, put a padlock on them and, and tie them to the roof. So, but Trent Nairn and Dan Hunt were probably guys that, you know, probably kept the jokes going, which is good. That's always good to keep you guys grounded sort of thing. If you hadn't <laughs> made it to first grade, what would you have done as a job, do you think? Um, well, I'm hopeless. Like, I wouldn't be a tradie, that's for sure. Um, I probably, I, <laughs> Fair enough. I was selling shoes out of high school at like a, a rebel sort of store in Wagga. So, yeah. Yeah, mate. Yeah, fair enough. Now, the next question. Did you play any different positions as a kid or a teenager while growing up other than, you know, halfback and 5'8"? Uh, yeah, I played a little bit of fullback and also played some centre for one year. We had a really good 5'8", so I uh, played outside him and scored a heap of tries. It was, it was pretty fun. Nice. Now, getting into a bit of a deeper topic, your feud with Bo Ryan, is that still going on? Yeah. And what kicked it off? Uh, I don't know if it's still going, still going on. We don't see much of each other, me and Bo, but um, oh, I just felt uh, disrespected, you know, with uh, him taking the piss out of me on, on the footy show and yep. Yep, considering we weren't, real, we weren't really mates. So yeah, um, no, that's you know, I found enough. that very disrespectful. For sure, and I think anyone would, in all honesty. Whereas if it was your mates, you know, saw each other every week, every second week, it'd be a little bit different, you know? Yeah, that's exactly right. I totally get that. I have asked a few friends if they have any question to ask you, so I'm asking them on behalf, and this was the majority question. What was behind the little jig before you went for a conversion each time? <laughs> was it a ritual, or what, what was the go there? Yeah, so uh, I did some work with Socceroos coach Graham Arnold back in uh, 2007, yep. and... Um, you know, I, I used to sort of do the Johnny Wilkinson, Adam Reynolds bend over before, but um, yeah, we, we had a chat and I ended up, yeah, just coming up with that routine and it, I stuck with it. I didn't take it to Penrith. I thought it was time to move it on, but uh, yeah, it was just, just a routine thing, mate. I, I didn't really think too much about it at the time. Yeah, no, fair enough. It's just, it's iconic when someone hears the name Jamie Soward about the NRL, they think, oh, the dude that did the jig. Yeah. <laughs> At the end of the 2016 season, you announced your retirement. Do you have any regrets about your career or is there things you may have done differently and anything you miss or don't miss of the game? I'm happy in retirement. Uh, I don't miss, you know, getting up and reading after you've had a bad game. But, yeah, uh, definitely. No, nah, I don't regret anything. I think, you know, 2015, obviously, you know, I went through some personal stuff with a divorce and yep. some mental health stuff that I wish I handled a lot better. But looking back, mate, I, I couldn't have asked for anything out of my career. Footy gave me... Yeah, you know, so many, so many good memories, uh, be it ups and downs. But uh, yeah, I'm still able to do it in retirement and cover the game, and definitely don't miss getting up and doing preseason. That's for sure. <laughs> so we've got one last question before try time trivia, and that's what's your take on the 2019 season so far? Because when we spoke, it was very early on in the season. Who do you think will be there for finals footy? And also, do you have a prediction for a winner or at least a grand final match? Yeah, I think uh, the Roosters in Melbourne uh, really stamped their authority on the competition on the weekend. Definitely. Um, they've definitely. they've um, you know, shown that their best game is still probably better than everyone else in the competition. So we may be heading down that, that way of, 
of having those two teams meet again. Even their worst games this season have been, they've won, you know, comfortably. Yeah, that's exactly right. So I think uh, those two teams have popped their head above everyone else, but there's some teams there that can give them some trouble in a one-off match. So um, at the moment, I think, you know, those two teams have definitely put their hand up to say that they're the cream of the crop and, yeah, the, some of the teams that maybe we thought were going to test them uh, maybe still have a little bit of improvement to go. Fair enough. What is your end of 2019 home and away season top eight predictions? Melbourne, Roosters, Raiders, Manly, Rabbitohs, Para, Sharks, Panthers. I agree, honestly. Not necessarily in that order, but definitely those teams, I agree, will be in the in the eight. Now, time for try time trivia. First question. Which club did the Penrith Panthers defeat in the 03 Grand Final? Sydney Roosters. Correct. Who was awarded the 2016 Clive Churchill Medal? 2016? Yep. Uh, I can't even... Oh, Luke Lewis. Yeah, mate. Which team finished last in the NRL Premiership for the third consecutive season in 2017? Newcastle. Yep. Who did the Titans play against in their first official NRL <laughs> match? Ah, uh, I think it was the Broncos first up. No, mate. It was the Dragons. Ah, right. Okay. And then one last question. John Howard was a number one ticket holder for which NRL club? Mate, that's the easy one. The Dragons. He sat in, the, sat in our dressing room many a time. Yep, I figured it'd be a nice, easy question to finish it off. Well, <laughs> I want to say thank you very much for your time to the Canterbury Cup every Sunday while the season is going.